Welcome to this answer explanation video for fractions greater than 1. This video will talk through the answers to the fractions greater than 1 worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Question 1. Match each representation to the correct written fraction. So we have A, B and C, which are images of fractions. And then we have our fractions along the bottom. So we have 27 eighths, 3 and 5 eighths and 2 and 7 eighths. So we're either looking to write it as a mixed number, so where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, or as mixed numbers, where we have our whole number and a fraction. Let's have a look. There are different ways you could do this. You could look at each of the fraction options and then check your representations to try and match them up. I'm going to have a look at A to see if I can work out which uh, fraction it matches up with. So on A, I have two bars which are completely full, so they must represent my two whole numbers. And then uh, on the bottom bar, I have seven out of the eight parts shaded. So that must mean I have two and seven eighths. I can see that two and seven eighths is an option, so I'm going to put A there. B, we have three holes because there are three circles completely shaded. And then I have three additional eighths, so three and three eighths. 3 and 3 eighths isn't an option, but I wonder if I count the eighths, the eighths, whether I will get to 27. So 3 times 8 is 24, and then my additional 3 eighths brings me up to 27 eighths. So the first one, 27 eighths, is B. That should leave us with C being 3 and 5 eighths, but we'll double check. So I have three bars completely shaded, so they're my three holes. And then I have five out of eight shaded, so that's my five eighths. So I know that C is in the middle, and the answer is three and five eighths. Question two, complete the boxes to describe the fraction. Circle the representation which matches the fraction. So we have our fraction here, 42 ninths, and we need to complete how many holes make that up and how many ninths make that up. Then we have our four images at the bottom, which we then need to choose from. I can use my knowledge of my nine times table to work out how many holes are in this fraction. So if I count in nines, nine, 18, 27, 36, I can't go to 45 because my numerator stops at 42, but I did count four nines. So that means there are four holes within that fraction. So my four holes would take me up to 36 because four lots of nine are 36, and then I have six parts left over. So my six parts are actually ninths. So 42 ninths is equal to four holes and six ninths. If we look back at the representations that you have, we need to choose which representation shows four holes and six ninths. We can count out A straight away because the fractions represented there are sixths, not ninths. So we need to look at the others carefully to make sure they are all nines. We're then looking for four holes. So that will be four of our shapes completely shaded to show the holes. So that gives me the options of C or D. We need to look at the remaining fraction to have a look. So D has five out of the nine shaded and C has six out of the nine shaded. So the representation to match the fraction is C. Question three. Use the clues below to identify the improper fraction which is being described. So we're looking for a fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. The clues are the fraction has a numerator between 20 and 30. The denominator is in the three times table. The fraction is equal to three holes and a fraction. So we need to think carefully about the denominator being in three times table. So we're looking at multiples of three. I'll just get my three fractions ready because we're going to find uh, three possibilities. My numerator then needs to be between 20 and 30. So I could start there by picking a number. I'm going to go for 21. The denominator in the three times table, so it could be three, six, nine, etc. And the fraction is equal to three holes and a fraction. So if I wanted to use um, sixths, I could think about what three holes would be as sixths. So three times six is 18. So that would be 
18 sixths equivalent to three wholes. So 21 would actually work because 21 is the equivalent of three wholes and three sixths. So that could be an option. For my next option, I could then work with what I already have. I could add something onto this numerator to make a new fraction. As long as I don't go past 24, because that would be equivalent to four holes, I could have 22, I could have 23. Our next one, I might try a different denominator here. I could try ninths. Nine times three is 27. So I could have 28 or 29 ninths. Because that would be equivalent to three holes and two ninths. So that would fit all three criteria. You might find different possibilities. These are just examples of how you might get to the answer. That was a video explaining the answers to the fractions greater than one worksheet from Classroom Secrets. For a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk and for more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.